Time has passed and our crane is complete. All we have to do is finalize it. And there it is. Uh, we don't want to rebuild another one. Nope. And I want to aim my camera up here, please. There we are. There it is. There is our crane. Uh, it is autonomous, but it can have a somebody sat in it, so one of our engineers could happily get into it, and uh, they could fly. Uh, fly. They could drive it around. The control system is a bit weird, um, but I, I'll show you that. I'll show you exactly how this works. Um, right. I have transferred all the fuel out of all of these. That's currently in that ship there. So um, all the fuel is gone. So let's do uh, I. Um, release and hope it doesn't fling over into nothingness. Oh, it's going to fling over. Okay, it's got no SAS. Right. That was unexpected. Um, I did think it would have had some form of reaction control, um, considering this plate back here apparently does have a command module in it, but um, it doesn't have any reaction wheels or anything, so... Right. Um, I think we are going to... This action group breaks, brings out our rusty landing legs there. Uh, right. So we have here servo control. Um, we don't really stabilize this, they're the wheels. Um, yeah, although that could be useful because it can drive sideways, but I'm not fussed about that for the minute. This is the crane, the control here. Uh, the right, that's it. Yep, it turns pink. That's the crane, uh, the sun setting, that's going to be awkward. But um, yeah, with this you can obviously crane things up, it's got a magnet on top. It's uh, It can pick things up and move them around, hopefully a lot more stable than our other crane was. Uh, but I now need to figure out exactly what's what on it. So, um... Boom, I think it was. B3. Minus 10 on the boom. That's going to push us hopefully forward. Toggle our brakes off. See if we can get those engines, the wheels to grab something. I don't think it's going to be able to stay at the to uh, stand us up here, um, horizontal, what was that? I go that way. There we go. Back on our wheels. Excellent. Right, so, uh, here, I think, yep. Uh, I built this before I'd upgraded the uh, VAB, so it's using control systems um, from that. Now, I do know you can type numbers in here. There, if I click all go, is that right? No, all free, all go. Yes, there you go. You set them to speed. Set them to speed 10. And, uh... Yep, type in numbers, and whatever number you type in, it goes to. So, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if this has got... It has got headlights. It's very stable. The steering's reverse on it for some reason. Um, notice that a lot of members. It seems to be that the steering, for some reason, is... Is, a uh, 
inverted. So if I stop I might actually invert this and right is left and left is right. Okay. So what can this do? Well if we um let's start with let's start with the greenhouse shall we we can drive over to a greenhouse uh, no we can turn our brakes on uh, I will deploy these here. I've got to be careful of the clearance on these because it is quite large. But um, I don't need them. I could obviously quickly toggle to gear mode and then bring them back in again. But we'll leave it for a minute. Um, I think... I... No, double clicking that doesn't... There's a way to target things, but I can't remember how. But anyway... Um, so we would need to move the crane over to there and pick that up, which is doable. So let's uh, rotate right at minus 45. Got to learn all the controls here. Um, I'm going to leave it on 10 speed, which is quite slow, but um, I want to learn how the whole thing works first, if I'm honest. And the boom out. The boom is a weird one because you can actually stretch the boom out further than the rod is. It will go out well a long way. You set it to 10, and uh, this endpoint actually ends up like way past here, so it sort of floats, which is very odd. Um, I think one even might be the big part. Let me increase the speed on that because it's low. Um, Looks like two's about as far as I should take it. Uh, the horizontal position. Um, right, that should be minus. Minus We're probably not close enough to our actual target yet. Um, no, by the looks of it, we're not. I think I can drive with those legs down. Yes, I can. Yeah, they don't quite touch the floor. Not there. We want to go around even more. Um, sure how vertical does we look see here let's say that's 20 not oh, actually lowers ah oh, excellent there we go you want to try and get this as close as you can to centre but it doesn't have to be but if I now uh, switch over to this oh, and close it there and uh aim our camera I could now uh, undock that, switch back to our crane, enable our magnet, freeze, whoa, okay, that did not go according to plan, please don't explode. Uh, right. Wow. Um, well, that was a little surprising. Uh, it's minus 50. Oh, oh no, sorry, that was the wrong one. 20. Uh, I want the horizontal to be um, 45. Thank you. 
We can't push ourselves forward. Uh, oh, no. Whoa, 45, please. Whoa, not 460. Um, I need to add a... Um, uh, and I might, I might take the other crane and um, steal some bits from it. Of course, we're now under there. Let's retract those. Don't load. Please don't do weird things. Right, just fall forward. All you gotta do. Of course, the counterweight is at the back of the craft. It should probably be in the centre in hindsight. It probably made more sense. Um, boom to my ten. Go quite quickly. There we go. Back on our wheel. Right. I'm probably using this wrong. I'll be honest with you. I've I've not used it before. Um, I saw the video to it, and uh, uh, oh dear, oh dear, uh, yeah. I saw the video to to sort of how it was used to pick up things, and uh, don't know really if it was used to pick up something like this sort of size. Maybe I just have to come in at a sharper angle. I'm not sure. Um, if I enable targeting, what does that do? Apparently nothing. Okay, um, so having manual control of this would be so much easier. Being able to use the the uh, number pad key to just move it around would be so much simpler. But, um, well, uh, let's try this again, shall we? Here we go, right. Still moving for some strange reason. I'm not sure why. Although it could actually not be us moving, it could well be. Uh... No, no, we are sliding. We are actually sliding. That's really strange. I suppose I should have set this up so that when these come down, they touch the floor and lift the back end off the ground. What a Probably made more sense, but I didn't do that. I am wondering whether I could just reverse up to things and do it that way. I might try that. Picking up things from the side is a bit not very good at that, so try reversing up to things. 
Um, obviously, I'm not going to show everything of me doing this. It would be quite boring watching me just drive this round. But I think it's going to be quite entertaining for myself. But um, yeah, I think it would be a little bit dull to just watch that happen. So what I'm going to do... Um, is... Um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this one works, how I can, um, I've already separated them, but I need to pick it up, uh, attach the construction ports onto it, and then re-weld it to that centre piece there, uh, using one of the centre legs that I don't currently have. Um, I haven't actually got any of the centre legs printed off yet. That's a that's a small detail. That's fine. We'll break there. Um, the sun is going down, so we are going to run out of power at some point, I think. Um, why are you twisting? Hmm. I mean these tires don't have very good friction control. And the friction up so that they actually stop us sliding around. Oh, not friction control up ah, and final wheel. Uh, I'm not sure what it's going to do for the actual driving of the vehicle. I think it just stops the uh, the slidiness. So probably a good thing. Jump into it, there we are. Pull forward a little bit. And, uh, we break. And, no, we're still moving. That's extremely annoying, because that means that I can't actually uh, do anything with this, because it's obviously going to be moving whilst I'm trying to pick things up. So, I'm not exactly sure how to quick fix that. I do keep getting these huge pauses as well at this pace. Here's the magnetic strength one. Oh, so, three. I'm going to be honest here, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I don't know why that's causing everything to fly up in the air. Um, strength 2. Right, that grabs it, and then it just starts randomly lifting up in the air. Like, it actually lifts the vehicle off the air, like the magnet is pulling um, things away. Uh, what? Let's, not server control, let's get a engineer out here, shall we? Dotty, out you come. Yeah, there might be an engineer in there actually, I'm not sure. Uh, Oh, Dotty, you don't have a screwdriver. Why don't you have a screwdriver? Ah, oh dear. I don't know. Um, grab me another engineer, shall we? Let's grab Bill. We know Bill's got a, a screwdriver. Yep, there he is. Bill. 
up you go, over you go. You are going to go and take that top thing off. Up there. Grab that and move it. And then get the hand out of the way of the crane because it's probably going to decapitate, decapitate you. Yeah, don't want that. Not good for your health. Um, usually results in death. Right, get your with a magnet at strength 2. This is weird. Um, yeah, there we go. That appears to be locked. Um, it is using power, obviously. Well, obviously it would be. Um, and then what we can do is we can switch back to Bob and um, still sliding round. This is not not how I envision envision this crane to be. To be honest with you, um, I expect it to be able to grab things and hold them pretty stably. But it's move around. Maybe uh, as I said, if I move the legs down, maybe put them in the center. That might make more sense. I think put them in the center there and move them down a bit, and uh, then it can lift the whole vehicle off the ground. Probably need more legs. Probably got problems. Probably needs four of them. Okay. But what we can do is we can uh, attach that, the attach that, okay, uh, uh. and then the attach that as well. Goodbye. And that. Ah, and we're going to get the issue with can't detach the root part. This is where everything sort of falls down. Uh, we can detach that piece, though, which the magnet will hold onto, and that will drop off there. That's not such a bad thing. And now we're beginning to float up in the air. Yes, magnets are magic. But apparently in Kerbal Space Program, they can defy gravity altogether. I'm sure there's a way I can exploit them to launch a craft into orbit. Ball magnets in a central cube. Central cylinder. Linked up against something. Gotta say though, the construction stuff is pretty robust, as well as the uh, K and K gardens. They're uh, they're not exploding, but uh, now it is on its roof. That's really awkward.